Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you shortcuts that you need to know when creating music with FL Studio. So first I want to address the different F keys that you need to learn. So first I want to show you the different F keys that you need to learn. The F keys are the keys above your keyboard or on the upper side of your keyboard. You can see F1, F2, F3, etc. If you're using a Mac, you most certainly can't see them, but you can still use them. Um, on a Mac, you have a key called FN, which should be on the lower left corner side. You should see the FN key. And if you press and hold it and then press the different upper keys, you will see it will get the F1, F2, F3 keys as usual. You can also see the F key, which one it is, and they are numbered just underneath the icon on that key. And this is just for Mac. On your, if you're on a Windows, you most certainly have the F key, the function keys as they're called. So if you're getting the F1 key, if we're pressing the F1 key here, you will get the help section here. So as you can see, if we're now focused on our mixer, this will bring up the mixer functions help. So let's say that I'm in FL Studio here. Let's say I'm in the playlist and I want some help inside of the playlist. Just go to F1 here, and now it will load up the help for the playlist. So this is actually very, very useful to use. It's not like um, regular help window that you you have to like search whatever, and you can't find that, and so on and so forth. So let's say that you have a problem with something. Um, if I go to the browser here, if I'm focused on the browser, um, let's say I'm here. Now if I press F1, that will load up the help for the browser you see it's very very useful to have there all right so the next one is going from f5 up to f12 so f5 will actually close and open the playlist f6 will close and open the channel rack then we have f7 piano roll then we have f8 which is to see all of the plugins that you have available. So you can actually load up a new plugin here and see it graphically like this. Then we have F9 for the mixer. And then we have settings for F10. F12 will, will close all of the windows here. So you let's say that you have a lot of different windows open up and you just want to get clean. Then you go to F12. Then we have all of the different other key commands that are very useful to use and they can differ between the different versions of FL Studio and also if you have customized it in some way. So the best thing to do here and to learn is to actually take a look at the panel here, the info panel. You will see the different key commands that you should use to, to make a different thing here you can see if you go to the playlist here you can see now if i hover above the draw tool here you can see it's uh, the key command tool for that is p b for the paint delete d and so on and so forth so it's very important to learn this stuff because let's say that you want to cut something here in the playlist and then you want to draw it out or something like that it's like time consuming to just cut it like this and then go up here you want to draw that out like that, for instance, and then you want to cut something else. So instead of going up to the menu here all of the time, you can just go with the key commands. And you have to make sure to take this off, the typing keyboard to piano keyboard, because otherwise the piano will play when you're typing your actual computer keyboard. So if you have this disabled and then go to the slice which is c slice like that then you have p so you don't have to go up it's just for me to show you that the key command is p so now if i go to p here i have the the draw tool here so it's very easy to to use like that for all of the different stuff inside of fl studio so if i open up the piano like this now you see all of the different stuff here in the piano roll and they have their own key commands as you can see here if I hover them over in the info panel. And uh, yeah, the most important thing to learn here is the key command for the different tools because that is going to speed up your workflow a lot. It's a lot easier to create and 
edit different stuff in the piano roll or in the playlist, for instance, if you're doing it with the key commands here in the, on your computer keyboard. One thing that is very nice to use is to hold the control key if you're on Windows or command key on if you're on a Mac. And when you have the draw tool on, you can just, if you hold it, you can select different clips here like that. So let's say that I'm selecting here and if I want to deselect, just hold it and click wherever I, on the empty space here. Useful for copying and pasting different stuff in the playlist. And same thing goes with the piano roll. So let's say that I want to copy this section here because it's exactly the same here as I want it to be here. So what I do here is to hold the control key or command key, just select it like this. And now I can just go with control B and now it will create us exactly the same clips here in this side. You can also select them like that and go with control or command C and control or command V to paste it. And now I can drag it out like this. Next thing that I want to show you, which is really useful to have, is to zoom. And you control or command zoom like this or with alt like this. So you scroll and hold alt or control to zoom. It's very useful to have like that. Thing that I want to show you in the playlist is how you create track and group tracks very quickly. So if you want to create a new track, just go to whatever track you want here, just right click on it and press I to create a track above it. So let's create two tracks. And now if I want to group the, these two tracks, I just go to the second track that I want to group with and just right click and press G and that will group them together. So what that does is to group with above track. So you have to make sure that if you want to group something, you want it to be with the track that is above it. So let's say that I create a lot of different tracks here, like that. Now I can group them all together. So first I and then G to uh, group them. Then I can collapse that like that. You can also right click within this group here and just press I and that will create tracks within this group. You can see it if I go here. So all of these tracks will be inside of the group if you uh, press I within the group. So now we're the all of these tracks are within this track here. So if I collapse it and just go on another track, let's say this track here and press I, that will create a new track which isn't in the group. This is a very useful one. If we have a track that we want to assign to the mixer and we want it to be colored and everything as it is in the channel rack. So first let's just rename it and color it to something else like this. And now we want to this keys here to be assigned to the mixer. We want it to be renamed as it is here and we want it also to be colored as well. So what you will do here is to just select it here, the keys here, and you want it to be on whatever insert channel here. So let's say you want it to be there and now we press control or command L and that will, you see that is now assigned to the 14 and it's colored and renamed as it was here in the channel rack. Say now that we want this track to be uh, moved to this side in the mixer, it's very easy to do that as well. Just hold shift and now you scroll, you see that will um, move this channel here in the mixer. So you can organize your different mixer tracks by doing it like this. This one is if you want to create a new pattern inside of the channel rack, then you go to F4 and that will create a new pattern. You just name it. So uh, new pattern like this, you can color it as well and uh, just press like that. And now you will have your new pattern. So that is very nice to use and it will automatically put up the rename and color box so you can immediately start to work on the new pattern. All right, so now let's say that we have the new pattern here and I have a kick drum that is, the beat is like this. And now I want to move this these rhythms here just to see how it sounds with the different rhythms. So let's say that I have something like this. And now if I want to move the kick drum here, let's just play this pattern here so you can hear what I do. All right, so now I want to move this pattern a bit. So let's select it, press and hold shift, command and your arrows or shift control arrows. 
And now we can see you're moving it like this. So it's very easy to shift it like that instead of just deleting it and writing out like that. And then if we don't like it, we write it out like that. It's a lot easier to just shift command control, command or control, and then load it like this. All right, guys, that's it for this video. And we'll see you in the next lecture.